Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, August 26th. Okay, so Mondays are ruled over by the moon. We currently have the moon in Gemini energy. Again, really adding a lot of pressure to the mental plane, to our heart space, to really look back, analyze, review where it is that we're coming from, especially all of the ups, the downs, the in-betweens that have taken place over the last course of this month. Now, the last quarter moon is a time of aha moments, time of epiphanies, a time of elimination in realizing what is working, what is not, what we want to do, what we no longer want to do, where it is that, again, we are closing particular doors on topics and themes and soul contracts of the past and where it is that we are prepared to pivot into a new path, a new direction. The Gemini energy has us mentally processing the good, the bad, the ugly, the pros, the cons, again, everything in between. This is helping us to refine the path, the choice, the decision, the direction that we now want to move into from here. Again, from the last quarter moon to the new moon that we will be having in Virgo energy early September, this is a process of elimination, removing what is isn't working really kind of you know drawing the line in the sand if you will with what it is that we're no longer willing to go back to willing to experience willing to pour time energy and attention into so there is going to be a lot of mental pressure if you haven't listened to this week's ascension forecast to understand where the energy is manifesting in the physical form i'm going to recommend you do that stay ahead of the game so that you're not surprised it's better to roll than to be dragged but we are definitely going to feel a lot of pressure in the headspace a lot of intensity to choose to decide to start kind of making some progress into a new path, into a new direction. So the moon in Gemini definitely piquing our curiosity, definitely challenging the expansion parameters of our thoughts, of our ideas, and really putting us in a different perspective to again, start sorting through the nitty gritty details. We are in Virgo season, the nitty gritty details of our lives. What is working, what is not, what we could do better, what we can improve upon, and where we need to kick some bad habits, some old aspects to the curb. So with all that being said, there are six different aspects taking place here today, relatively quiet day in the cosmos. Five of those aspects are going to involve the moon. The one aspect that does not involve the moon is going to kick our day off. It is between Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, our action, even our anger. Of course, he's in Gemini energy, again, furthering the divide in our mental plane, in our heart space, especially with planning and strategizing the moves that have to be made to either close the door on the past or open new doors up to the future. Mars is making a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is retrograde in Aquarius energy. And of course, that's highlighting the power struggle between our egoic programming versus our higher self. The old version of self versus the new version of self, our heart versus our head, all of the tug of wars going on at this particular point in time that is blocking us from truly moving on and truly working towards a new vision, new goal, new dream. Now, this is air on air energy. Gemini is a mutable sign. Aquarius is a fixed sign. And so we are all up in the headspace. We are very intellectual at this point, trying to discern what needs to stay, what needs to go. Again, adding to this processing energy that we will be very much in throughout the entirety of Virgo season. So this is going to challenge us, if you will, to boss up to make a major change, major transformation in our mood, in our attitude, especially with getting very serious on making some solid plans, some solid strategies, especially revolving around what we're truly passionate about, what we're excited about, what we're inspired about, what we actually desire, what we actually want to bring to life. So this is definitely a boss up energy. We're feeling empowered. We're feeling like we have what it takes to do whatever it needs to be done in order to kick certain aspects to the curb and again start making some progress in a new path in a new direction 5 26 a.m eastern standard time we have the moon getting into the square off with the sun which of course what gives us our last quarter moon in gemini energy the moon being in gemini the sun being in virgo what do they have in common you may ask 
Mercury rules over both Gemini and Virgo energy. We know that anytime that the moon and the sun come together in any type of interaction, that there's going to be a new level of awareness, a new light bulb pop off on what we want, what we need, what we desire, and therefore what it is that we need to do to again, clear away the junk and the gunk of the past and clear the space, clear the way to start pursuing a new path, a new direction. The moon in Gemini energy, again, emotionally speaking, trying to sort out the pros and cons of what it is that we're leaving behind and what it is that we now want to build towards. The sun shining a bright light in the Virgo energies, examining the issues, the problematic areas that are blocking us from actually making the progress that emotionally speaking, we want to make. The square highlights the tension, the conflict between where it is that we're at and where it is that we desire to be and the plan, the strategy needed in order to, again, close the door on the past, open the door up to the future. This is growing pains between how we're feeling and what we actually have the power and control over in our physical realms. We are in review again, Mercury's retrograde. We are in reflection, we are in restructuring, readjusting, recalculating, reorienting our attention into a new path, into a new direction. The moon in Gemini going to sextile, beautiful interaction with the North Node in Aries energy, trying to get us on the right path to move on, to move forward to new chapters, to new opportunities for healing, for growth, especially in relationship to the relationship that we're building within ourselves. The moon working in a positive energy with the North Node is putting us in a situation to start thinking about our future. And in relation to some of the things that we want to do, that we want to pursue, what is currently blocking us from doing just that? The moon will then semi-square Chiron, the wounded healer who was retrograde in Aries energy, helping us to examine the problematic areas in our mental plane, in our emotional field, in our physical realm, that essentially is blocking us from being the version of self that we need to be to make all of these changes and adjustments and actually start gaining momentum towards a path, a plan, a strategy that is going to get us from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. A semi-square is highlighting tension and conflict, though. Maybe where we're not feeling so confident within this new version of self. Maybe we're not feeling well-equipped or well-prepared to make the changes that we know that we need to make. But again, this is helping us to reframe from a different lens, a different perspective, how it is that we actually see ourselves how it is that we actually see whether or not we are capable enough of bringing these new goals, visions, and dreams to life. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mercury. Mercury rules over the Gemini energy. So again, there's a lot of power with Mr. Mercury here. Um, we have our heart space, the moon, and our head space, Mercury, working together to try and get on the same page. So again, emotionally speaking, the moon and Gemini rapidly processing different options, different variables, different opportunities, different ways about going about trying to get from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. Mercury, on the other hand, still in a reflection, still in a review of matters of the heart, we're using those particular, let's call them pain and trauma situations and circumstances that, you know, popped off that we're still trying to come to some sort of term of acceptance about. We're trying to use that as a positive fuel, as an inspiration, as a motivation to do different, to be better, to really create better and to follow our heart space. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Neptune. Neptune, of course, retrograde in Pisces energy. This is going to, again, help us to emotionally feel like there's a renewal energy. There's a refreshing energy taking over our soul and our spirit. This is a reminder of what it is in our imagination, in our la-la land, let's say, that we are spending a lot of time wanting to work towards, wanting to bring to life. The moon in Gemini is the logical practice mental plane that needs to actively sort out the good, the bad, the ugly of the plan, the path, the strategy on how we're actually going to bring this goal, this vision, this dream into fruition, into this materialistic realm. <laughs>